What's up, Naps? Long time no see. I'm back with another video, and hopefully, you guys have your snacks or your drinks or whatever, and you're just sitting down and I caught you at a good time. If not, then shut the fuck up because you're watching this anyways. Anyways, uh, so, today I want to talk to you guys about Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Or, in the title of it, it says, Let's Talk Modern Warfare. And I'm planning on making this sort of like a little mini thing, uh, where I just talk about random games or something where I'm interested in, and hopefully you guys can talk about it too in the comment section down below. If not, whatever. Uh, who knows, maybe I might keep it up, maybe I won't. Maybe I might keep uploading, maybe I won't. The world may never know. Anyway, uh, but I wanted to talk about Call of Duty Modern Warfare because it is currently October 10th, 2019. And after playing the 2v2 gunfight alpha, and both beta weekends on PS4 and PC, this game has caught my attention like no other Call of Duty has since Black Ops 2. And mind you, Black Ops 2, I was entering ninth grade. Yeah, 2012, that was a long ass time ago. Um, and to think that seven years ago, Black Ops 2, like seven years later, it's still being played to this day by people who just love that game including me like i i played it this year i uh, recently uninstalled it to make room for for other stuff but black ops 2 was a major major uh stepping stone for me for just games in general and me as a person uh not saying it defined me or anything like that it, it was just very important to me at that time um but Modern Warfare, not to be confused with, you know, the other Modern Warfare. Um, this game has major potential. And ever since they announced it, and I saw it, and they were talking about going a more realistic approach, uh, making the game heavier and stuff like that, I'm like, this sounds like everything I've wanted in an FPS game since I stopped playing a lot of them. Like... I started playing, like, I still play FPS games, obviously, that's, like, my favorite genre, but there hasn't been a lot of innovation, there hasn't been a lot of good games to come out of the FPS genre, uh, in a while. Obviously, we had Doom 2016, we have Wolfenstein, but outside of those two, Call of Duty has been lackluster for the past few years, and, uh, Battlefield has been shit, so it's like, what am I supposed to play? So I just started getting into other things, um... But, Call of Duty Modern Warfare has a real chance at making a change. And from the beta, uh, hopefully you're seeing gameplay right now that I got. Um, from the beta, this game is everything that I wanted it to be. It's heavy, the guns hit and sound hard. Uh, there's also a lot of variety. Uh, the attachments are amazing. And you can make guns into other guns like there's conversion kits like from the AK-47 to the AK-74U by just using a conversion kit or maybe even converting the AUG I hope that's a thing too from converting it from the submachine gun to the assault rifle um there's a lot of things that Infinity Ward has been trying with this game and that's one thing I have to say Infinity Ward games never feel the same outside of like Modern Warfare obviously but from Modern Warfare 3 which was them and they were sort of in a hard place at that time but that's you guys know the history on that if not just look it up um from Modern warfare 3 to ghosts to infinite warfare to this it's like it's mind-blowing to see how different all of those games were and I, I guess it's a better choice or a better uh selection to say Modern warfare 2 to ghosts to Infinite Warfare to now, Modern Warfare, where they're back at square one, but they're completely reinventing everything. Like, this FPS game, if you took old Call of Duty, or if you took Advanced Warfare um, by Sledgehammer, or if you took Black Ops 3 or uh, Infinite Warfare and took them and put them up against, like, Apex or Titanfall, you'd see a lot more similarities than you would see differences on the surface. Until you started actually playing those games and you realized the Call of Duties were trash, and Apex and Titanfall were actually pretty good. Um, but Modern Warfare is... It's more like Rainbow Six Siege and Battlefield 4 
came together, made love outside of wedlock, and had this bastard child known as Modern Warfare, and it's everything that I want. Because Siege, sure, it's fun, but there's no like team deathmatch, or there's if there is, no one plays it. And it's not really made for those types of game modes. Um, it's made for objective-based, uh, you die, you lose the round type shit. Modern Warfare, on the other hand, it has that heaviness, that movement of Siege with Battlefield sort of like twitchy, twitchiness, but with that Call of Duty spice where you can just get right back into the action. Um, and it has the gun selection that Battlefield would have if it was on this scale. So all this is to say, Modern Warfare is... And I'm repeating this again, it's what I've always wanted, and I'm sure I'm not alone on this. While playing the beta, I've had, I had a big smile on my face because I knew that at that moment, I had a good game that I could play. But then I reminded myself, Activision is behind the scenes and they're waiting to lube me up and just ram inside of my asshole with microtransactions. And that's exactly what's happening, supposedly, or rumor has it. Um, that's exactly what's happening behind the scenes, and I'm hoping Infinity Ward is fighting this to their fullest, because it's not... I don't want this game to be ruined by the same things that ruined the other Call of Duties in the past couple of years, and that's microtransactions. Um, not to say, like, World War II is the only example I can use from the past, I'd say, four years, that actually is still playable. But the one thing that puts that big brown mark on World War II, well, it, there are two things, but the one thing I'm referring to is the loot crates or supply drops or, what, or surprise mechanics, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And it essentially ruined the community in that game because the only way you can get certain weapons, they're in the loot crates. Like, obviously, they have challenges and orders and contracts for you to do to get variants of those weapons, um, but they don't come around a lot. Every day... Uh, they recycle or whatever they refresh but you're not going to get a weapon every time and who said who's to say that when you do get a weapon in those contracts that you're going to get the one that you want or an order you you don't know if you're going to get the one that you want there's no direct way to get the one you want unless you go through the collections which you have to save up armory credits for and guess how often you get armory credits and how much you don't get a lot so you're basically grinding and grinding and grinding for this one weapon and it's kind of tedious and honestly it's not even worth it and you're sort of forced to pay money for the guns you want by opening supply drops that gets you a weapon variant and it's not even going to be a good one it could be battle scarred csgo reference anyways um i don't want modern warfare to fall down that same rabbit hole because everything else is perfect about this game except for the fact that microtransactions might still plague this game and I'm hoping Activision doesn't do it. And I'm ho I, we know they're going to do it. But I'm hoping they don't do it to the degree that I think that they're going to do it. Um, Infinite Warfare, from what I've heard, I haven't messed with Infinite Warfare outside of a campaign. Which was, it was, albeit it was pretty good. Um, I've heard that their microtransaction system was the fairest. And from what I've seen, it's called the salvage system. And it's like you get the keys for the weapons... Uh, or for the uh, supply drops, and you get the blueprints for the weapons, uh, regardless. And you can unlock those, but only the weapon variants are in those supply drops. You can still get the base weapon regardless, though. Um, as long as it's like that, I don't mind. Cosmetic stuff, I don't fucking care. Go, go ham with it. I don't fucking care. Put them in the fucking supply drops. I mean, it's cosmetic. But leave a little bit outside, so people who don't want to spend... 100 bucks on supply drops can get something too. Um, but yeah, Modern Warfare is like, it's, it's a damn near perfect game. Obvi obviously, it has flaws, but from a gameplay perspective, um, and from a Call of Duty fan that's wanted to get back into Call of Duty for years, it's damn near perfect, and it's everything I've wanted from every other FPS game I've played in the past four or five years. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys have any thoughts on Modern Warfare? Are you getting it? Or did you pre-order it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Uh, but yeah, see you guys later. Bye! And you say you always keep your way. Show me what you're after.
Richard Gisselin.